Chef Sizwe Tebekulu is a, a culinary expert who has elevated cooking to new heights. He isn't simply an ordinary cook, but a mastermind who creates masterpieces by not only cooking dishes, but also decorating them with his artistic flair. He's in studio with us now at the moment. He's also with uh, Chef Whitney. Uh, gentlemen and lady, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank good you morning. so much. Take us through your culinary journey. Where did oh, it all yeah. start for you? Well, it started about uh, 17 years ago, mm -hmm. um, you know, in a restaurant, started off, you know, washing dishes, mm -hmm. just like any other aspiring chef. And then I rose through the ranks, got a chance to work in a number of hotels, uh, worked on the blue train. Then I got a chance to go overseas. I worked in the USA in Florida, Palm Beach. And then when I came back, uh, that's when I, uh, you know, ventured into lecturing and then yeah. corporate consulting. So I've consulted quite a number of um, food production companies doing food research and development. Yeah. And recipe composition, food styling, food photography, the list is endless. Yeah. Chef, would you tell us a little bit about your culinary journey? Um, yeah. So I started um, at Outreach Foundation, which is uh, an NPO in Hilbra, mm -hmm. and they host different skills development programs there. So I joined last year in April. And I did a lot of um, culinary programs like your food preparation, which is the six weeks course. Then I did your bread baking and cake baking. And that's how I met Chef Sizwe. And yeah. since then, he's been grooming me. So here we are. And yeah, we've been working together since. Since, yeah. yeah. Speak right. to us yeah. about the importance of having a process like this where somebody grooms you into the industry. Because Correct. the amount yeah. of chefs <laughs> that we speak to and the amount of times that they say this yeah. industry is difficult. For it's sure. not easy breaking into this yeah. industry. Yeah. Why is that such? an important part of what you do look I'll, I'll admit it is difficult but at the end of the day it's all about commitment it's all about discipline you know it's all about having the passion for the industry uh, I think it, you know it's all about this she's saying making sure that we also inspire the next uh, you know generation of your typical chef ways that are in the corporate uh, consulting space mm. uh, you know it is quite a male dominated industry uh, but, you know, we've got uh, Chef Whitney, yeah. who's as much as capable as, as Chef Sizwe as well. So yeah. we try and, you know, groom them just so that they can take, uh, you know, their positions in the industry as well. Mm -hmm. So my part is to make sure that I inspire them, you know, nature them and, uh, you know, just, you know, take them along. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about what did you, what you brought for us. Correct. Uh, yeah. I see potatoes, I see yeah, carrots. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yeah. that. Is that Correct. pork? Oh, what is no, it? it is beef. Yeah, it's yeah, beef. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is a Texan beef. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a steak. Uh, you know, so I just decided it is a Sunday after all. You know, right. Have a nice piece of steak, but of course we did add some potatoes and you know some vegetables. You know, just a typical Sunday meal. You mm -hmm. know, uh, so I thought that would work very well. Uh, you know, for. for would you, for if today. you weren't uh, with Chef Sizwe, tell us about what would you be making on a Sunday? Uh, typically, so, course. you know, seven colors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. very typical. Your rice, your chicken, roast chicken, mm -hmm. vegetables and a side. Yeah, Pardon like me. your potato salad or like, yeah, yeah, green salad. So, yeah. 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 How did you manage to make uh, beef this size so appealing? Oh, well, you know, creativity comes into play. Right. Uh, but you, 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 you do get uh, this, uh, this uh, steak of this size. Uh, you wow. know, so you just have to, you know, obviously, obviously you know, apply your creativity. Yes, For yes. us, it's all about presentation. Okay. You say you eat with your eyes first. So we try and make sure that, uh, you know, whatever that is on the plate is quite appealing, you know, from a presentation okay. point of view, of course. How are you contactable, briefly? Okay, so people can contact us. Uh, we're actually based in four ways. Uh, we opened an academy, it's called the Culinarian Chefs Academy. Yeah. Uh, mm. We train your, your chef students in your diploma programs, international mm. and mm. national. Uh, we've got your certificate programs. We also have what you call your skills development programs, sure. mm. which are meant to empower, you know, your, your young chefs that otherwise don't have opportunities uh, to study your diploma yeah. programs. So right. uh, it's, 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 they can contact us mm. on our email, okay. which is info at mm. Also we have a website www.theculinarian.co.za. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. so we have Great come stuff. to the end of the program. Correct. Thank you so much yeah. for coming this morning.